They build up to 2019. It don't they hot with uh, the political activities where they happen for inside Obodo country. Uh, one of the interesting thing now the number of new entrants where they come into uh, the system. You know, from this year as build up to uh, next year for the elections. This morning, I don't get uh, better sweetie belly as one of the aspirants uh, don't enter for inside studio again. No, be your second time, so we actually did very happy to get you inside studio this morning. Thank you for bringing me again. Um, yes, go ahead. I, I know that some people fit uh, don't already code the, the the voice, but I would like you to introduce yourself. Uh, make a look or do may not come be the way he is with your belly. Yes, my name now more yearly. Show mm. I'll be presidential aspirant. We won't take Nigeria to another level. So yesterday I come into town for Kano. Last time where I come, I come see the enemy of Kano. Yesterday I come in the people of Kano. Uh, I remember say last time where I come, oh, maybe that engineer away called that they, they listen now. Mm. And they complain bad about Kano Kaduna. Kano Kaduna. Oh. No, Kano, uh, yeah. yeah, Kaduna Zaria Kaduna. Yeah, Kadu, 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 Kadu Good news now, we say after we shut down last night, yesterday, they don't repair the road though. Okay, so that means you don't follow road come. I don't follow road come this time okay. around. I follow air come from Abuja, but like, we send people follow road come for our team and they tell load the road so I don't make a shot on their head again. But mm -hmm. I yesterday, they don't repair the road. And I think we show to you say if you if government fee act when they want act, but if you don't get people for government, we shall be act, then you get a problem. If to say we not shout that shout. Maybe by now, they didn't proceed to play for the road. But see now, I guess they don't fit. I don't see it myself, but people uh, but you don't hear. say... Any, anyway, we go go to all that, but um, in case uh, somebody just did know here you the first time when you come, yes. I uh, would like to know, say, you now one of the, the new entrants into the presidential race That's right. as we build up to 2019. Not, not true. Very quickly, I would like to make you tell us how you prepare yourself because for you to come declare, say you don't ready to do this thing, make we hear small as um, uh, inspiration and ginger to other people who feel they not this kind of ambition in the future. How you prepare yourself for this moment? The preparation uh, not be one day, and the preparation not be one side. For me, the preparation start about uh, 29 to 30 years ago when I entered University of Lagos. When it's a problem for the country that time in our military role. Okay. When I joined other young people, students in particular, including some activists for this town, waiting for BUK. I still remember Nasir Okura, who is still be activist even now. We drive military come out. After we drive military come out, I come out and go US. Come start that newspaper or website where they call Sahara Reporters. Most people mm. know me as the founder and operator of Sahara Reporters. I will nobody know miss that one. And what I do for the last 12 years now to fight to expand that democratic space where we create when we drive military come up for power. We didn't fight corruption, open governance, transparency, or good governance, now we did fight for. But over all that time, too, I'd be strong activists. It makes sure anywhere where I meet these guys so they don't do well. He go talk I, I don't if I don't talk um, as soon as I see, maybe now someone I don't watch some video. Of me and one minister for him, but mm. radio station. One of the slogan arms. Where we slogan him out. I saw my life be say, I believe say this country from Naibawa Park from here, Gorish Potapo must be a better country. Some people believe, now we don't mention, mention uh, Sahara reporters. Some people believe, say, at a point, you'll be tool for hand of some politicians. Now, so they, they talk, even when I did invest in the military. Government talks say will be too in the hands of active uh, people like Ghani Fawe me. They even expel me from school for that reason. But today we know who be too for inside of hand of devil. Now the military guys. But as a politician, part of the process we say you must get affiliation, you must get alignment, na part of the strategy. What in they define your own alignment and affiliation? Alignment now with the people, young people for this country. I said I define now more, you know say so they get six geopolitical zones for Nigeria. Mm. Me, I believe say so we get the seventh geopolitical zone. People who they don't abandon, people who they don't cheat, 
people where they don't, you know, they don't destroy, people where they don't alienate, people where they just mistreat the poor, the weak, the old in this country. Now then we will be my affiliation. Now, they, now our own coalition will be that, not with really our own type of coalition where they call cop. Cup of sorrow. Maybe I'm going to rephrase the question again. Mm -hmm. uh, because uh, party politics for our country, we don't say one of the things where you need, you need money. Yeah. And then two, there is the Godfather factor, Godfatherism. Mm -hmm. They believe, say, for you, especially for young people, you must balance your legs somewhere. They draw strength and inspiration and even money funding to be able to do this kind of very big thing. where they tell you, you say, mm -hmm. this coalition we will get, this is our movement, what they call Take It Back movement. Now to retire the godfathers and godmothers, we don't hook Nigeria for neck with the apartheid type of politics. We destroy this country. Mm. Money we don't need, but the money we we need, you know much because we know they buy rice, we know they buy Ankara for people. No stomach is frustrated. No stomach, but they sell ideas. We feel we break them. We feel give people schools. We feel provide loans to farmers where they do agriculture for this part of the world. We have to give the opportunity where the son of governor or president get for the son of nobody for this country to get education when they need. We have to allow our parents to get hospital where they feel enter, get treated properly. We have to allow, as we say, road, made a construction. But road not be between Kano, Zari, and Kaduna, I don't. We also need for Yola to Jalingo and back. We also need rural road so that farmers go feel carry their products, go sell for market or Make they get the opportunity to process them so they don't go spoil. Now that kind of world we will do right now to provide education, particularly because yesterday I've been going you know, uh, this canal uh, use yeah you summit yeah and uh, you summit all the old people just did the government officials talk say coming soon coming soon I say Nigeria now film <laughs> I confront them all. but before I feel speak they don't they don't already run away from the event but I talk to the young people for there. And the place, the film, and they come to support, come to clap, say, because this will not be a matter of ethnicity or religion. Mm. Because hunger, no savvy ethnicity, no savvy religion. At all. Disease, sickness, no savvy religion, no savvy ethnicity. Make we bond together, chase all these godfathers or godfatherism come out of France, so that all of us will be one, we will feel enjoy this country. Because the resources are there for Nigeria today, fantastic country. Me, at the top camp, because I don't. Travel small. No, besides, I take and come the bones for radio television, but I don't travel for 19 years all over the world. And I know what thing other people they do to make their country they okay. But for Nigeria, they don't color be all the things we're supposed to work for. They can take and they build mansions, take and they travel. They take our own money, go they build for other, build other places. Places like Dubai and Nigerians go to spend money for there. If you carry Emirates, and they enter this country 10 day, ten times per day. You know, we know to carry passengers when they enter Dubai. The same thing for British Airways, same thing for now Turkish Airways. But we don't get anything where they work for us. We need leaders where we make things work for this country. There's no need to be apologetic about it. Recently, debate, the show say um, that young people be the answer. Um, to this leadership problem we'll get for Nigeria. I would like to get your thoughts uh, towards this not too young to run bill. Uh, in as much as plenty of people celebrate and welcome them, other people believe say monkey hand day for his side. Yeah, I, me, I, I think I talked about one day here last time. So I don't believe too much for that kind young to not too young to run. The thing are uh, part of the campaign to just make people feel good. Right, you don't need elders to tell you, say, you did too young or too old to run. If you're ready to run, go and run. If you're not ready to take over government, all of the young people go born together. But the constitution don't allow them on the, the constitution, not the, the people will do, when they do the constitution, finish two things happen. We make people come, they doubt even the people will run now. The people where they fight for the law now, old people where they follow now, most of them, or they keep silent, they know even they support the young people where they run. Then secondly, when they go do the signing, they did all of them, they smile, green from air to air. The man, they tell them, say, I'm not going to wait for four years. So by the time they wait for four years, all these young people waiting now, they go there old too. And then they go there too old to run. So that many people, they doubt, say, whether the thing gets some kind of RNG development for inside. You know, say, they just say, if you see snake, where they run. Mm. You know, say, snake, get leg. 
all that is in the way. Mm. So now you say we make people, but me, I always impress any young person will take any form of activism from beginning to the end. But now they have duty to show you know, say this one a bad joy. But a lot of people they think say people like you and other young people that product or result uh, will come out from this not uh, too no, young. No, I don't do for that category. Even my, I don't reach for seven years old. I don't already qualify before they pass the law mm. to run for presidency. No, I don't do for that. I just look young for face. <laughs> I don't do. I know do for that. I know they not be the law benefit me to run. Okay. No, all. No, all right, then uh, maybe very quickly before we go a uh, small break, and uh, when we come back, we'll open telephone. But before that time, uh, you go tell us your worker all around the country. Uh, we we'll say you don't know, engage young people. Now only young people have been our uh, stakeholders. Mm. Who really you they engage? We, we they now? start to engage people when they when they left out of the political process. Then we will go to the people. Yeah, like like who? We, yes. Like young people, all okay. the way they turn 18 now, between 18 and 30 for this country, they don't abandon them. We engage women, where they out of the political process. We engage older people too, where they out of. But our focus now to look at young people will be 70 percent of the population of Nigeria. With them, no get job, they no get schools to go to. The ones we for this country today, if you don't know somebody, you not know, get admission for school, mm. any high institution, even second school, secondary, secondary school self. If you don't get contact, you know if you get jobs, even regular government jobs. And you know even talk about people with the physically disadvantaged. We meet we meet them, they are part of all our rallies. They don't even get any policy for the physically disadvantaged people for this country, special populations at all. Every year we just take them out, every election cycle we just take them out say yeah, the fiscally disadvantaged. We don't even invite them to come our rally. You know, they let them, we don't get place for them to sit. You know, if you find any federal building today, we get what they call uh, disability access. Mm. Yeah. Mm. You no know, get buses. We get waiting. You know, like I said, I don't travel. We want enter bus. Fiscally challenged person go wait for them. Pull out the wheelchair, the wheelchair lift. Yes. They go lift them back inside. Help them sit down before the bus go. Maybe take five minutes. We have everybody wait. They have to wait. Because you look at them, now those people will be the only people where they win men that are for sports for this country. Mm. For even Olympics, the Paralympics, where they go. Mm. So if they are doing us proud, why are we not doing them proud? We're supposed to carry them along. Yes. So All so right, that one come back. We will ask you because um, we will not get um, independent candidacy for inside Nigeria. Yes. It, it worry you? Uh, if for good, because if you say independence candidacy, the are for no joint parties right now. But but you don't worry you. You don't worry me. Okay. Whether independent candidates are there or no, we will still run or we'll win this election. We they sure say the people of the country are ready for a different direction. We will make the country better past as it did now. Okay. It not be this one where we they where we they call us school so crazy. Hmm. Government by excuses. Hmm. Or is it excuses? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I asked that question because I really want to understand, uh, get your thoughts about uh, party politics for our country. Yes. A lot of people believe, say, um, the structures of the parties coming together, forming alliances, getting agreements, different people with different ideologies coming together, and at the end of the day, you see, say, the team will hold them, you know, they're strong enough to hold them. Mm -hmm. And then the crisis will come up from party enter for inside governance. The, the truth be said, most of those guys were there for inside these parties. Nothing they hold them, pass what they never chop. Mm. Now they bond with that, now, they, now their truth hold them together. Uh, now they are so far goes. And the moment they chop, 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 like at the talk, so you see them since the 1999. The best way to describe these politicians, mainstream politicians, are uh, the, the carpet baggers. Mm. Where they cross from one carpet, they are cross carpet in every damn electric, uh, electoral season. So now, because now only two seasons when they get, now summer and winter. They get the summer now, they go rush go there when they warm. And when they coast, most when they come, they will remove, come out. And that place where they warm. That's how they are. 
and it's important so many Nigerian people understand so these people don't get their interest at heart. Now which they go chop that they find all over the place. And the moment the um, you know, the moment the thing say the thing don't finish the talk say it doesn't like bed with them on top of branch of uh tree. The tree break. Like, hey, you go live now. Nah, nah, I don't go follow the tree go down. Know, exactly. So they don't get that kind of ideological conviction to stay for one place consistently. Now the thing where people like me don't do for 30 years because I stand on one side. Whether they cold or they convenient or inconvenient, or we did there, they fight for the betterment of this country. So we we'll not forget all this parts, but we they come up with our own political platform for this take it back soon. We will go announce, we will take us to the next level, sir. So, you know they join any of the existing political parties? The mainstream existing political parties, I know they join. That is to say, APC or PDP or... or you know they... Uh, or regardless of how they will change their name, because I hear the PDP said won't change their name. Mm. Uh, yes. So, I know I know if they join that. My conscience not going to let me join that. That means that by now you don't secure your uh, party registration and the whole mechanism on the... Mechanism day where they go on. As you, as you don't secure your registration. Eh, I know if we tell you how we go do them because that one. Uh, eh, because I know say I never get timetable. And they get timetable. We uh, don't. We 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 go do okay for the timetable we're in like the way the way we work with and where they work with. In fact, even PDP said won't go register. So now we set time today. Okay. Pr critically, in ninety days, nine elections to take happen seriously for Nigeria. If you look out for 2014, mm. President Buhari wasn't the candidate of uh, APC until October. Mm. No, actually December. So now that did December, January, suppose to February 14, the chief town. I think they come to an election around that kind of March. I mean, what do you mean the election that time? Well, so now so it be 90 days circle. Now it will take the real election for Nigeria. Other places, they do um, earlier than that. But we, we don't start already the consolidation, the mobilization, the engagement, and interaction with the necessary. Now we go. Like for our Take It Back movement, and we don't do the most nationwide uh, tour. We don't reach Wari, enter Kano twice now, enter Kaduna, we don't enter Bini, we don't enter Abuja, we don't enter Joss, enter. Galingo, enter Yola, we don't enter Quara for Lauren. We don't enter. And so, I, are they tempted to ask, well, after this worker, what will be the next phase of the Take It Back um, uh, movement? We will announce party, that's the next major phase. After okay. The Waka, we, after we finish for Northwest now, we will go back, go perfect our party situation. And then, because of the nature of the movement now, they get, it's a global movement and global dimension. We, as we enter Niger, they enter everywhere. Now we enter some places where Nigerians they concentrated abroad to take discuss how we will take the future of this country back. Because at the end of the day, when we want to start our government, now all Nigerians, whether they did home or abroad, now go they involved. Yes. The incumbent president, mm -hmm. the president of the country, yes. uh, Muhammad Buhari, has declared, you don't declare intention, say in the run yes. for re election. Yes. You think say you go fit defeat the president at the polls? No, yes, absolutely. This president know perform well well. And that's the reason why he must retire and make it go back to in city or town for Dara. We know if you continue like this. Uh, continue. You did talk for yourself, Abi. You think say you did talk for the generality of now Nigerians? You talk about the generality of Nigerians because I mean, we did Kano now. And the impression when they give us before we even come Kano, say everybody with the Kano, they support Buhari, you know, feed, no space when it's like Kano to even turn. But when I Kano yesterday, we do our time, how many people for the young people, they ask, say, how soon we go defeat these people? Including Buhari, so that they said they look for a different future. We the fake guarantee them, say they belong to this country. It shows that Buhari no fit to them. They don't try and best, and best not they good enough to continue with. And this country not be hold itself to that lack of best way the man don't do in the next four years. So whether you did for Kano or you did for Lagos or you did for Takoto or you did for. In Agua, or you did Jalingo, or you did for 
Dara. Everybody is tired, and everybody is saying enough is enough. But that uh, we know they do say bye bye anymore. Say bobo, what they do now? Uh, well, when when we take a few more calls, I would like to know because we're in the age of um, evidence, or you they call them empirical evidence. Mm. So we we'll like to know the indices. What will be the basis mm. of your conclusion? Uh, because no, I guess the, the government gets cockered mm. when they hit a hand for Chelsea. Yes. See what it would accomplish. Yes. Hello? Hello, good morning. Yes, good morning to you this morning. Yeah, uh, I'm coming from uh, Ashton Road. Uh, what will be your name? My name is Frankie. Okay, Frankie, good morning to you. Yeah, I, let me say welcome to the gentleman in the studio there, Mr. Dorey. Thank you, good morning. Yeah, well, please, the question I want to ask Mr. Dorey this morning. Yes. Yeah, in the situation of things in this country, in Nigeria, uh, like, I'm not going to make a reference to what has happened two days back or a day back regarding the speech made on uh, the premises of uh, the Senate President and Deputy. Yes. Uh, that the Nigerian Security Agency. Yes. Uh, so, are you sure you can withstand all those things? that can be used to characterize Nigerian political atmosphere. All those uh, types of uh, maybe all democratic, uh, democratic attitudes of the government. Are you a young man trying to refer to this evidence of the year? Are you sure you can find all those things that don't have to be Thank you so much. Thank you, Frankie. Uh, Frankie. Very quickly, make I explain to you. This one uh, small compared to women don't face well in the past. But I don't see under military rule. Now, not be police, not be tigers, not tank when they put in front of the university where they take the fire at us. We will stand up. When I did University of Lagos, our problem for university that time now courtism also. We will stand up. I don't go jail eight different times. Well, when they say jail, not be the sentence me but police carry us put for SSS detain us. In my twenties though, I will stand up. So this one's not nothing. Now the people we never see this kind of thing before they even make a big deal. I know say they will come in different ways, in different formats, but they will also fall. Now where you don't in mention your days in the yeah. University of Lagos. Yes. yes. Is it true say at a point they link you to issues of uh, cultism and, no. and stuff? They say that part of the reason why you had to leave Nigeria. No, I, I fought cultism when I didn't even lie. I was against courtism, I fought court people, the students, where they do courtism. Because interestingly, in those days, the students will be court leaders where they do courtism. They were children of the same people where they for military. They were children of traditional rulers and rich people outside. So we come to the question and say, your papa they destroyed Nigeria, you said one can't destroy campus. No agree. They fight, we fight. I was uh, attacked by the court guys. I was injected. But I don't leave the country immediately. And after you don't recover. You don't recover. I even do NYC before I come home from Nigeria. Travel abroad. Okay, fine. Um, just before we uh, take some more calls, uh, building on which Frank, you don't talk. You don't get any sign of intimidation or oh, harassment. Every day, every day. Even yesterday when I come home, they, they tried to seize my live streaming device. Say I don't get right to restrain my movement around the corner. I tell them, say, there's no law that prevents you from streaming live. It's my personal device. And I have a right to show where I did travel all over the world. I go to Europe. I did even stream takeoff and landing live. Because all over the world now, they, they sell internet package in the air for you to stream, special package. So, but we, we always did back. But the legislation for those countries, no, they did the same thing with our own There's not, they, even for here, we don't get any legislation that says you can't stream live. Hello? Hello? Yes, good morning to you. Yeah, good morning. Please, uh, my name is Titi Lassay. I'm calling from Finland. Oh, Titi, how are you? I'm fine. Now, Pigeon, how they blow for you? How you did? Okay, yeah, I go speak to you. Oh, yeah, I know. Ah, hello, Mr. Chorena. Titi, they talk. Good morning, Titi. How are you doing now? No, 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 no. We are blending in the conversation. I don't follow you for a long time. 
Yeah. I've been a student in my final year wow. here in Finland. Wow. I wish you the best, too. And uh, I take care of the disabled person as a part-time job. I want you to talk more about disability people. Yes, as in your power, what you're going to do for them. What you're going to do for them. Because these really, really matter. Because even me, they want to do. Insurance over her. She didn't take anything out for her house after they take care of them. Yes. You know they take design the house, they, like, Thank you, Titi, all the way from Finland. Yes, yes. the question which Titi they ask now about uh, people with the we get disability or people with the co special population for mm. our country. And from what they hear, all these guys then reach almost 20 million people. And most of them, being very loyal citizens of this country, they get uh, PDCO. But my starting point, not to explain, say, then we need to put these people for national health insurance automatic, right? When we say they could they receive medical care anytime, anywhere, within the day, anywhere where they, they request for them, and to give support to them wherever they might be. But most importantly, for immediate, they also need cash support. They need to be supported with cash. 50,000, I would propose at the beginning for every handicapped person, but it's not 50,000? Yes, per, per quarter. That is three times a year, they will get 50, 50,000. When our situation improves, we will put more. Maybe we can do it every month. Because where I've been there for U.S., people will get disability, then get disability uh, stipends, whether they collect from the government, they get food stamps, whether they get from government, so that they don't go hunger. And they can put them in a way where they got a job training so that they can be employed. So those one of them with the well educated and a lot of them they the way where they well educated for Nigeria, including here when I when I listen to the kind of quality of questions that they asked yesterday, you know, say these people and they sound upstairs. So it should not be an excuse to push them outside of society. So my intention is to give them support. Make sure that any time with the employee for the federal government, you must make slots compulsorily available for people with disability. Are you sure say this one no be um, to recreate uh, within uh, the current administration? No, to? no. The thing where they tell you that things where I don't see, where I don't implement before. Okay. Yeah, because I don't work for social service sector for US before the Catholic charities. When we say part of their job now to uh, help people with their disabilities, help immigrants, I was a manager there for two years, and I see the template on how they take help people. This one I church will not be even government itself. Okay. So, and you have a lot of groups in the country who are helping them. You can have support for people where NGOs, where they support them. And also you can have direct intervention programs for them, but not be in this ad hoc way we get, let me say, anytime election they come, you know, go distribute coke, give them some money. After election, you disappear from them. My heart they bleed when I see a person with the uh, disadvantage 
physically the way they treat them for this country. And one of the first people where I meet when I started about five months ago now, this physically challenged persons at the National Stadium for Lagos. And every town hall meeting where we don't do, especially in recent times, we have always, almost ensure that they are included, so that they sit in front with us, they ask questions, and we address their concerns. All right. Uh, so apart from that one, which other special policies um, will you get for the people of Nigeria? Our policies, they are spread out in what we call Spice Heat. There are 10 platforms, 10 places we need to have been, and the first one is security, to make sure that this country is secure, and we end the blood, uh, bloodletting that is happening on the land. The second one, no, we do very compulsory electricity for me. Okay. You know, say this country, we must light up this country. We did want to introduce energy mix, like solar, we will not get it before. Because countries like Tunisia, Morocco, they even sell electricity to France, or they are planning to Amata from solar, and that's why the northern part of Nigeria is important to us. Because now here we will put those structures for solar energy to the country. And that one alone will employ over 2 million people just to generate 4,500 megawatts of electricity from solar. We get many countries around the world jammed with they invest in this and they are looking for places to put solar farms so that they will generate electricity for cool for country. And this will benefit Nigeria. Number three, now infrastructure, road infrastructure, they in dilapidated condition. We need to build new ones. We need to uh, fix the ones we did there. We don't hold. The number three, of course, now to fight corruption so that the money will they get to people nobody steal them or the but I was waiting inside our system. We have to put them out of business. And then the third one, the, the next one, the economy. How we will make this economy they all inclusive able to work for the people of Nigeria, provide employment, you know, uh, provide social security safety net for our people and ensuring that everything will come to Nigeria trickle, trickles down to the regular people, the ordinary people. Uh, next one, a restructuring in this country is overdue for restructuring. But as I the shout everywhere where I go, restructuring for me means saying that we they restructure the country for young people. Okay. Not because restructure for the same people we don't do for the virtual land of life. They have no right to they talk about restructuring or restructuring Nigeria for us. Now we will restructure the country for and the only way we feel restructure Nigeria according to your own design now to be in charge of the restructuring process, power. Okay. I mean, uh, 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 political power. The next thing, uh, health, education, we want to declare emergency for education sector so that we will feel increase the access to education. Right now, there are only two million spaces available for students when we enter higher institutions, and over 20 million of them are willing to go to school. If you don't build the access for them to enter university and create the class, we will take the country to the next level. You better have to build prison. Mm. So now, if you don't build school, in a prison, in a prison you're supposed to build. So we have to build schools from okay. kindergarten to university. More access, more schools, and free and compulsory education for all our people. All right, we so lies on the culture and tourism. Okay, we we lies on the buzz. Yeah. So we will take a few calls. When we come back, you will continue with your plans. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Yes. Good morning to you. Uh, my name is uh, Steve. Oh, that's Steve. How are you doing? From where do you call us from? I'm calling from Post Office, my brother. Uh, oh. My dad is uh, a guest in the house. He didn't hear you. Oh, I, I want to ask your, your guest today. I don't see the happen for Nigeria. Hmm. So much agitation, people tribalism, people want to hurt themselves, people want to, you know, see this uh, religious crisis. I'm asking, if you become a president of Nigeria today, how is he going to manage all the things I mentioned now? Mm. Thank you. Okay, Steve, thank you very much. Um, we we'll talk about religious agitation, all kinds of crises. We have to divide them into what they cause them and how we we'll piece of them. Most of the things we really see, say people they do, even at the level of religious agitation, the excesses we do. Now, because law enforcement know they do their jobs. If there's intervention day between when crisis they brew and when crisis starts, we know for not they lose even lives at all sometimes. Mm -hmm. Or say with the gather intelligence when crisis they go on or we see say something won't happen, we pin the people where they do and we go pick them up. Either we talk to them, similarly, they don't start the trouble. If they start the trouble, they know the outcome of their actions. 
it will go away. But the other thing that I also want to forget say, as a country where they diverse, we have differences. You know, and diversity is, is natural. So from time to time, when they gather together, they discuss our differences, they ensure say, we give people avenue to excel, to express themselves, to have these discussions, res uh, conflict resolution discussions from time. All of them have to be working for a pursuit and making sure that all our institutions are working for our people. For example, now if somebody go court, we judge, go sell in judgment to another person, the judge is, is going to invite crisis. If police, they see blue, where they call them white, in a crisis, eventually that thing will blow in the face of everybody. But the thing where I talk, say, government wait there for the people, wait their life to its responsibility, wait the command, the security agencies, we know they biased. Also, we know we say when something happens like this, government will stand on the side of one, one of the guys where they do the bad thing. But, uh, maybe on that note, make I ask you, because uh, the government of the day, they struggle with these issues. Do you think, uh, say, that they do enough? They know they do enough, that's the problem now. If they do enough, we will not get these questions to come up, we will not get crisis for this country at the level we get. Some of the issues where they happen, for instance, how somebody go, they will go carry weapons from one section of the country, go the other, go carry out killings, come back, come to school, left one house, and nobody even investigate, people just die like that. For where I don't see around the world, one person die like this, they must get to the root of the matter. Instead, sometimes, they are still trying to solve murder cases 20 years after, 40 years after. Mm -hmm. So, but our country, you could just see people, people would just die, they kill her, nobody go ask. Even they go, they point to the person who kill her, nobody go go near her. That's not, that will not be country. That's why I say this country not a work for Nigerians. All right, you go call us back again. We we'll see you on top of Zubia FM. The leader of the Take It Back movement, presidential aspirant for 2019 uh, general elections, uh, Mr. Omoyele Showore, still there for his studio with us. Steve Hello. Uh, with time uh, done, almost the finish. Uh, but um, I will allow Oga Omoyele Showore uh, make it just um, tell us as one, allow you to come up from Mr. Studio, waiting exactly with the thing where you want from Nigerians to support. Uh, these dreams and you know eventually when and if God will you enter office. Yes, uh, uh, total cooperation we will look for, especially for people we never vote before we feel say this country it's because a lot of people don't give up hope on the country already say this country don't feel better again but when they tell you say hope they're on the way, help is they're on the way, make not give up but we need your support, make you convince everybody because some people will tell say we don't know sure, we don't know sure but you ask them say, they know the thieves, they know all the thieves, but they don't know the person where you fix the country. Well, now you don't know me or tell the people where they are around you, say this country feel better and make you spread the message. But most importantly, maybe you go get your PVC on election day, make you make sure say you vote. And when you vote, make you stand your ground until your votes are counted and they mean something. Because again, we believe say and we know say this country feel better, that this country feel get road, we feel get electricity, we feel get good roads. If you get education for our children, not be mouth. I know so many politicians don't talk and say that same thing politicians they talk and not politicians. Mm -hmm. person, I, I, I mean, you come to person, that part. Yes, now, person will get conscience where I be. Yesterday, I tell some journalists say, all kinds of people don't govern this country before. We don't appoint or elect people. Some people don't impose themselves on Nigeria where they use all kinds of reasons. They use ethnicity, religion, you know. But mm -hmm. it is time for Nigeria to vote for real human beings. If you take Nigeria to the level of prosperity, peace, and progress. Thank you, thank you. But um, even though you just uh, you jump this small, I would like to bring you back small as we close. Waiting make waiting will make uh, President Shawori different from other I don't jump on. I tell you, say, when I look back at my pedigree, look at my history, which you, you can find out, say, because most people don't know, say, I don't dare around since 1989. So if you don't know, say I dare among the young people where they behind Abiola. Even if you search for internet, you will see my video with Abiola 1993 when I be 21 years old. Okay. People know, most people don't know, say that the same show where we get Sahara reporters where they expose all the corruption within this country. Most people don't know, say that maybe the person where they lead protests against bad governance for a long time, including when even for the US, when we say one minister come like this, one come they lie. We hold the place up until police come, come set to the team. Many things like that where I don't do, you understand, apart from other things where they do where I don't like to brag about as per support to my community. 
to my country and to my fellow human beings. So completely good person and they speak to you. So uh, the type where we say, well, I don't like to open my the brag because I'm human like the rest of you. I know better parts the rest of you, but I'm different from all these people who I don't see before. I can tell all you right. Uh, if you ask question about me, they will tell you sir. So okay. Time. All right. So thank you very much for coming. But I still get curious because as I just listen to you, I wonder uh, based on seeing a journalist, now like you be publisher, um, yes. activist, and everything. How you define time to relax? Waiting you they do with your. Make I tell you. Mm. So this morning, you know what I do? You tell me. I've been go race course, go run. Oh. Running is my relaxation. Wow. Yes, I went And you're there. running for president again. And you run for president. So run a day your blood. A day my blood. So I take relax. <laughs> you know, now my main relaxation with that to run because it let me to think, the process, and it keeps me fit. Nice, yeah, nice. So I don't do like two miles already this morning mm. before I come to studio. All right. So how far? What of family? I know? get, I get wife, I get kids. Okay. You know, and I get huge family. My papa born 20, 20 kids. Wow. I mean, the last time I checked, the still 17 of us still there on the ground. Did it back. And I don't say your papa follow tell you that thing where everybody papa did do. I do so. better than me. <laughs> so maybe you go go get like 40 children. Like, in that department, <laughs> uh, nobody if you try my dad, you know. My, you know, uh, he did well in that okay. department. So me, I know I won't try that. I won't, I won't beat my father in the area where he know do, which is so. He know be big time, you know, activist where I be. Okay. He was the in the teacher. All so right. I don't do teacher, I don't born, I don't marry. Now I won't do other things we you know do before in past. So but my papa did up there, they check on all of us, they check on all the children. All right. Yes. Thank you very much. And we sure see as your papa did here in Godi very proud of you. Thank you. Thank you very much uh, again, the leader of the Take It Back movement, uh Omoyele Showore, uh, 2019 presidential aspirant. Thank you, say you can see us and we hope say as this movement continues, uh you will drop into that you follow country people.